Hey guys, today we will be talking about one of the most misunderstood topics in tennis. And this is how to hit a proper forehand topspin. Sometimes I see hobby players try to hit this shot, but you can see that they don't really understand how to hit a proper topspin because their ball has some kind of revolution, but when it hits the ground, nothing really happens. It doesn't really kick off from the floor. And if you are one of these players, you should go ahead and subscribe to the WTN channel right now for more tips. You're gonna need them. Stop that. Yeah, I am chat to the noise. Then stop at the talking. I am chat with the boys. Nice guys keep walking, yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. Let the girl tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on a pine. If you wanna touch my feet, use caution. Now before we get into detail on how to hit a proper topspin, we need to understand the purpose of a proper topspin shot. A properly hit forehand topspin might fly quite high over the net and it might even be very slow in the air. But as soon as it touches the ground, it grips the floor and it kicks fast off either to the front or upwards, or even better, both. This makes it very tough for your opponent to hit the ball back because he has to work very hard to stand good behind the ball and he has to swing much faster against the ball, otherwise it will bounce out of his racket uncontrollable. There are three misunderstandings that Leon and I think are most common when watching players trying to hit a forehand topspin. The first one is that a lot of players try to hit a forehand topspin with swinging over their head. If your name is not Rafa Nadal or Romy or you had a close talk with Uncle Tony, it's probably not going to work for you because there are a lot of details you are probably missing out on. Rafa is a really talented player and he learned it this way, but for us it's really hard to copy him. I also know that sometimes you see players swinging over their head, but the reason is that they were too late on the ball and this is their way of keeping the ball in play. The second misunderstanding we see a lot of players do is they wipe from right to left on the ball only using their underarm like a windshield. At the end of this training you will understand how this can never give you a proper kickoff on your forehand topspin. Now the last very common misunderstanding is that a lot of players think they have to change their grip to a more extreme grip for a forehand topspin shot. I know some players do change their grip to hit a topspin, but this is not necessary at all. And please, don't overdo it. Now all these misunderstandings or mistakes end up in the same result. The ball is probably going to fly quite slow and high over the net, and when it hits the ground, nothing happens, instead of where it should actually kick off very hard from the floor. So Leon, how do we hit an efficient topspin? Well, there are a lot of points we need to take in consideration, but the first one is that your racket head has to drop far below the ball. This is so important, so you have a lot of room to brush up on the ball. To get into this position, you take your swing back, and when you are far back, you relax your arm so it can drop, because a very tense arm probably is not able to drop good. So you swing back, you let your racket head drop, and from here, you swing it right up on into the ball. So now, after we focused on dropping the racket head, it is also really important to use your full body and your whole arm in order to hit an effective forehand topspin. So after you drop the racket head, it is important that you brush through the ball, follow through, lengthen your arm, and then finish your shot. The third important point is that you contact the ball and brush up on the ball with a flat racket face. So make sure when you brush up on the ball and contact it, your racket face is flat. It should never be closed. This is the only way to get a clean contact point and a proper topspin.
As we already said, it is really important to use your whole body when hitting a forehand topspin. Now we focus on our legs. So, when you actually hit the ball, you have two options. One is that you stay on the same height with your head, don't move too much up and down, and then follow through. The second choice you have is to actually use a little jump. When hitting the ball, it creates a little more power, so you have to figure out which of the two options actually fits you. It goes like this. So try it out and it's your choice which one you prefer. The next important point is that you don't contact the ball with full impact. Imagine to yourself that you're only brushing up on the ball or only brushing the hair of the ball while hitting it. This way you can swing very hard and fast through the ball and it is still going to bounce inside the core. Last but not least, the most important thing during your forehand topspin is your ground. Come yet! <laughs> no, relax guys, she was joking. But I'm sure we can help you out so your topspin gets better and gets a proper kickoff from the ground. Now if you still have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And while you're down there, it would be nice if you hit the like button and subscribe the WTN channel if you want to stay up to date on our latest content. Now go out there, work on your top spins and we wish you all the best, your WTN team.